Welcome back to Pop Culture Tarot. All right, so let's get into this reading. So of course, yesterday we had the culmination of the Lion's Gate. And let's just do a little recap, shall we? <laughs> we had the Venus retrograde in the sign of Leo. I mean, we're still retrograde. She will be retrograde until September 3rd, and then she will go fully direct on October 7th because we're always about two weeks before and two weeks after uh, in the shadow of the retrograde. Then we had the nodal shift. We went to the Aries North Node and the Libra South Node. Then we had the new moon in Aquarius. I'm sorry, the, the full moon in Aquarius. And now, yes, and we had the beginning of the Lion's Gate, right? At the end of July. And then yesterday, we had the culmination of the Lion's Gate on August 8th. And then... On the 13th, we will have the conjunction. So we are just like, I'm almost imagining like a pinball and we are being bounced from portal to portal. All right. At this point, it's just like a portal hub. It's just a portal jump. It's a portal crawl. You know how you do the bar crawl? This is a portal crawl. We are going from portal to portal. And so I felt like I wanted to do a reading to see how this portal is impacting us, all right? So let's just, let's just get a collective vibe check. First of all, oh, wow. And I think I'm gonna read this card because it is slap in the middle of some other cards. So for how some of us might be feeling, we might be feeling a little burnt out. We might be feeling a little overwhelmed. But when we see, when we get to the 10 in the tarot, that is the end of the cycle. And so there are these portals, listen, these portals are closing some major cycles in our lives. Now, here's the thing. We can either get with it or get left behind, right? Like we can continue in this energy if we want to. And I have a sneaking suspicion that if we don't, Spirit, am I correct in what I'm about to say? Yes, look at that. And let's see. These other two cards fell. If we don't, it's interesting. We got this two and we got the hermit. But um, I'm going to just stick with this because this is the one that came out the first. The other two came out um, upside down. I mean, like that. I can't speak. Okay. So what I was going to say is we can continue on like this. And what I was suspecting and spirit is confirming is that if we don't decide, like if we don't get on this portal merry-go-round, we're gonna just get more of this piled on us. And it's super interesting that it's the six of cups that came out to confirm. So this is like, this is nostalgia. This can be, you know, comfort. But how I'm reading this is like more stuff from the past being lopped on us. Right. So we want to, even though we're tired, even though we are exhausted, because that's the other thing, all of these, um, like I said, I feel like, you know, we're in a pinball and we're just getting hit from all angles. It's like, boom, aliens, boom, full moon, boom, nodal shift, boom, solar flares. So there's all of this 
these things happening and it could just have us feeling really, really super tired. And we could also be feeling tired of being obligated to other people. Now, of course, some of us are caretakers like myself. Some of us are parents. There are some things that we do have to do. There are some things that we are obligated to do. However, we need to begin to shape shift is what I'm hearing and take these wands down one by one. Wands are about actions. So we need to start taking actions to center ourselves. And that's really what this portal, hmm, I'm hearing your life is your own. We might be enraged. We might be angry at carrying all of these burdens, shouldering all of these burdens. And we may want to be like, um, Oh, when I was younger, things were easier. Oh, I wish I was in my 20s again. Some of us might be angry about getting older. That could be the burden that we're carrying. But it's like, listen, better to be older than under. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> better to be older above ground than, listen, than under the ground, okay? And so on that same note, right? So it's time to let these things go. But I'm going to say again, one by one, what are some changes you can make? What are some small wands that you can begin to put down so that you can have some relief for yourself so that you are not going in this um, phase, angry, enraged? Oh my God, I said enraged, but look, I got outraged, right? We don't, we, yesterday was like the end of the year. Today is the New Year's, right? Some, some civilizations celebrated today as the new year. I mean, yesterday, right? So this would be the first day of the new year, right? So we have a chance to begin again. So I wanted to tap into my Astro Dice and see what they were giving. And so first thing out that I got was the North Node. Oh my God, look at this. And then I just turned the deck over. Holy smokes, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, 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 wow changes, beginnings, ending. This is where we're at, y'all. This is where we're at. And then, so this was the first thing I got. Then card-wise, I got Anubis, right? Anubis that, I'm going to read it because I love um, the book's uh, explanation here. But basically, for those of you all that don't know this, um, story you know uh so anubis was the protect the protector of tombs right he has the head of a jackal and he actually accompanies souls into the afterlife and you see we have transformation here so we have the north node we have the wheel of fortune and we have transformation spirits like i don't know how much more plain i can make it at this point <laughs> So Anubis, again, he would weigh the hearts of the dead against the feather here. And your heart could not be heavier than the weight of the feather or you wasn't crossing over. You Well, you might cross over, but you weren't going to see Isis. I mean, Osiris, right? So I'm going to finish that. Then I'm going to go back to these cards. So Anubis represents transformation and regeneration, right? So this was the other thing. I wasn't even, like, I didn't intentionally shake these dice. I only, you know, but when they fell, the eighth house fell. What is the eighth house rule, sex, death, rebirth, right? Again, this is a very explicit reading, <laughs> There's no secrets in spirit. It says, you are about to end a cycle or you're already experiencing a new one. So there might be disappointments here. There might be losses here, right? That's a part of this cycle. That's a part of the Venus retrograde. Any relationships that are not built on a strong foundation, they will fizzle, right? And I said in another reading, although I think it might've been on my Instagram um, um, and to friends that 
these endings don't need to be, you don't need to make a big deal about them. Like you don't need to have like a Jonah Hill type ending, right? Where you're, you know, sending out all your boundaries and like all of that stuff. No, you could quiet quit some of these relationships, right? Just pull your energy back, quietly quitting these relationships, putting down your wands one at a time, quietly, discreetly, right? So that you, your heart can be as light as a feather. Do not worry, Anubis will accompany you and guide you during your transformation of elements. Nothing will return to the way it was before. Inevitably, everything is transformed, but all you can do is create a new life in a new form. So like I said earlier, the transformation is gonna happen. The transfer, I mean, again, there's just way too many things happening globally, astrologically, planetarily for us not to like wake up and see like what's really happening, right? Things are changing. That's also why certain people are freaking out because they know that these, some cycles are ending. They know people are putting their burdens down, right? They know people wanna return to like calm, and playfulness, right? And so that's why we're seeing a lot of the other things we're seeing on the global, on the political sphere. So then the other thing I noticed was that I got that dice, Leo. They're like, this is the season. This is the season for this transformation. Don't wait, don't hesitate, right? Walk through the lion's gate, not me making a poem. Right. And so that transformation ultimately is going to lead to enlightenment. We have Ra here, the sun. Hello, Leo season. You see what I'm saying? Like it couldn't be more clear. So it says here, first sun God, he who rises up, climbing high in the sky, life and prosperity come from the sun and its heat. Its symbol is the eye of Ra also associated with the meaning of the third eye. The energy of Ra is vital, the source of creative growth. Hack. Go out into the sun, close the eyes, or put on sunglasses, and let that sun beam into your third eye. And see what happens. There is nothing to fear. Again, they're talking about fear, just like Anubis. Anubis. There's nothing to fear under the influence of Ra. He helps you to heal wounds and restore lost harmony. So again, it's like they're not going to just take everything from you. There are also things that are being put in. So we need to decide what are the things that we want to put in? What are the things that we want to put in our boat to take us to the next level? Right? What are the things that are going to weigh our hearts down that we need to put down? Perhaps this lion's gate yesterday will give you a better sense of that. Perhaps you're already feeling more enlightened or perhaps you've already been receiving downloads on this. Ra helps to heal wounds and restore lost harmony, but with action, you got to do something. Above all, he advises you to abandon the subterfuge of the moon and act boldly and in the full glow of light. And then we have Newt, which is about understanding. Understanding. Understanding that these cycles did not come to stay, that everything falls away. Me and the rhymes today are a bit much. Okay, so we have Newt, which I, I love this image. I mean, it's just so beautiful, so stunning goddess of the sky and celestial bodies. She swallows the setting sun and gives birth to the morning. Her immense naked body covered with stars is stretched out to form an arch that towers over the whole earth. Her arched position clearly shows her power in the sky and over celestial objects. Her nakedness represents the purification of the soul. When I was doing my meditation yesterday, I think I was leading a minute. I was leading a meditation actually for this group. And one of the things that I saw was the sun actually coming forth and like burning away old things. 
The stars that cover her symbol her symbolize the resurrection. The great light that illuminates. Your life is a mysterious journey. You have reached this point and Newt wants to help you understand your purpose and your destiny. Press on with confidence because now you know that there will be favorable events on the horizon and you might receive your desired request. So boom, that's what we got. That's what we got. Boom, bap. We have here, last card, the sixth house. The sixth house is about the things that we do every day. It is about our daily, like our daily activities. It is about refining, right? So it has to do with health and establishing a foundation. So perhaps that's also why, oh, mm -mm -mm. so that's why I had that, met that image yesterday of burning away the old, because we have here establishing a foundation. So people who know me know that I love the number four. Number three is like my favorite number, but number four is like right there as well because four has to do with foundation building. And so once we go through this transformation, once we end this cycle, once we lay our burdens down, once we decide to put down the nostalgia from the past, once and for all, we can establish something new, a new foundation. We can establish new routines, daily routines, that will take us through. I would argue that 2023, August 2023 is one of the important, most significant um, years and days in our lifetime. I'm standing on that. <laughs> we'll check back a couple of years later and see what's tea, but that's what I feel right now. That's what I feel. And so I hope that this resonated. Drop down in the comments, let me know. I am teaching a Tarot 101 class starting on September 24th. It is a six week course. Uh, you can check out um in the comment section and uh sign up for the class so yeah that's what i have for you and i will see you next time bye